In this video, I want to introduce 3D mesh objects in AutoCAD and how you can work with them with PyAutoCAD, which is a module in Python for AutoCAD optimization. I made other videos that introduce PyAutoCAD. Um, I also published videos that uh, introduce various operations in AutoCAD and how you can implement those in Python using PyAutoCAD. Um, I also introduced various um, object types um, that can be created in AutoCAD using PyAutoCAD. In this video, we will look at 3D mesh objects, but we are on our blog uh, working on um, uh, continuing and expanding our uh, PyAutoCAD documentation covering various topics. And you can find the link in the video description that takes you to the documentation, as well as you can find the link to uh, the coding example that I will walk through here in, in this video. But for now, and for this video, let's get started with 3D mesh objects. And as always, I import the relevant classes from uh, PyAutoCAD. In this case, uh, we need to create a double array and we need to create an empty AutoCAD template. Um, the first thing I'm doing is I'm creating an empty AutoCAD template. You could also do this using another module in Python, which is PyWin32, but I'm going to talk about that module in, a in, in another video. So for now, let's just focus on, on these two lines of code. So let's look at um, mesh objects. You see here some examples of uh, mesh objects and how you can understand them. So um, basically, we can think of two dimensions, the M and N direct, uh, dimension, and this defines a matrix, a matrix of vertices. And these vertices, they describe um, the mesh. So let's look at this first example. This is a matrix, you could say, with um, um, two uh, uh, a dimension of two in, in both directions, both the N, M and N direction have a, a dimension of two. So in total, this results in a two times two matrix, meaning that um, this mesh is described by four vertex, uh, vertices. So four vertices describe this mesh. Here's another example with a two times three matrix, meaning that here we have six vertices that describe this mesh. Yeah, so in M direction, we have two dimension, uh, and in uh, with two, uh, let's say, um, um, yeah, uh, dimension of two in, in the in the uh, n n direction, we have a size uh, three of of this direction or this dimension. And here's an, a last example with a three times three matrix resulting in nine vertices that describe this mesh. And let's try to build a mesh like this in uh, in uh, Python using PyAutoCAD the module that we're also documenting on our blog. And um, what you need to do is you need to specify the coordinate points of these um, vertices using a, a double array. And for that, we can use the a double constructor. The a double constructor takes a tuple of um, arranged uh, coordinate points and transfers them into a double array um, or double matrix that can be interpreted by uh, AutoCAD. So this is nothing but a long list of all the coordinate points describing all of the vertices in XYZ um, coordinate system. So this would be the first vertex with a coordinate of X equals 100, Y equals 10, and C equals 30. And this would be the second vertex, this would be the third vertex, and so on. So we list them one after the other, and what you can see here is that we have a total, let's count, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve um, vertices that describe this mesh. Since we want to build a four times three mesh, so this has a size four in m direction and a size three in n direction. Now the m direction is in x direction, along the x dimension, so in x direction, and the n direction is along the uh, y uh, axis, so in uh, y direction. And we can add uh, a mesh now using this uh, double array with all the vertex points by specifying also the amount uh, or the size of the m and n direction. And you can see here I hand over this um, double, double array um, using the method add a 3D mesh, which I call upon the, the existing model of the currently open AutoCAD template. And if we look at it uh, from, from above, so if we look at it in, in 2D, in two dimensions, meaning the X and Y dimension, we can see we have a 4 times 3 mesh. 
with 12 vertice points. And if we recognize here the coordinate values, then you can see here this is x equals 100, x equals 100, x equals 100. And then it's x equals 150, x equals 150, x equals 150. And then goes on to x equals 200. So this is x equals uh, 100. This is x equals 150. This is 200. And then at some point here, we have x equals 250. So this is uh, here. So from 2D neatly arranged in a, in a grid, if we look at it in 3D, uh, we can see here that um, the C coordinate for some of the vertices uh, differs, resulting in this, um, yeah, this uh, three-dimensional uh, geometry that's, uh, yeah, that's described by a mesh in, in or that, that is uh, basically a mesh in 3D. And um, if we uh, if we try to do something like this with a polyline and we look, use the same uh, the same number of vertices um, and, and and try to add a, a, a polyline using the double array, we would get something like this. Um, so not uh, not what we uh, what we need for that, for this example, um, because. One thing that becomes clear is that, um, I mean, if we look at it here as a wireframe, it's a little bit difficult to see what we're actually uh, drawing here. But um, if, if we uh, use realistic shading, um, then it becomes more clear that we're trying here to, to model some sort of um, three-dimensional um, geometry. And that's what we can use with uh, 3D mesh objects. And there are various uh, properties related to a 3D mesh object as created by this method, um, this method at 3D mesh. Um, for example, the density of the uh, mesh direction um, is something that we can manipulate, um, and uh, we can we can read it out from the currently uh, or from the relevant uh, 3D mesh uh, object, but we can also manipulate it, and therefore we can also manipulate already existing mesh objects and their uh, their properties using Pi AutoCAD. And that was um, basically a very quick introduction to 3D mesh objects with Pi AutoCAD. And if you want to uh, use this template, you can find the link in the video description. Then you can also adjust some of the parameter settings and, and values and also some of the property values and see what kind of effect uh, it will have on your AutoCAD object.